Hello there, everybody. Hey, here we are. We just went through a peak season to beat all peak seasons, a great peak season. Thank the Lord for that after last year. But we've all had a great peak season. Now the problem is, is that often we get to this peak season and there's kind of a natural left down. I don't know if people want to go on vacations or their mind goes on vacation, but you can't live off of what you got in those first six months. There's money to be made in the last six months. And it's what we call um, Jason. And if for those of you that are new to the business, we call it Jason because we take the first letter of each month, July, August, September, October, November, Jason. Jason normally means to us veterans that have been in this for a long time that uh, these are very slow months. Uh, we did exceptionally well in June, probably better than we have done for a long time because the extension of the peak season after COVID, whatever. But you get to July and August in a lot of states, in most states, you could fry an egg on the sidewalk. So what are you going to do about Jason? And here's the thing. Everybody's worried about, well, what kind of revenue can we make? And you should worry about that. You should worry about what kind of business you can do in the Jason months and particularly in uh, July and August, even into September. September, statistically, for the, those of you that are new, is usually one of the worst months of the year. So whatever you do in those months that is more than what you did, say, those same months in 2019, that's all gravy. So uh, it, it's important that you have plans for what you're going to do. And uh, normally, I would not suggest that uh, you, uh, you do anything uh, too crazy in the peak months of the year. But I am going to suggest in July and August and maybe even into September what you should do. Um, so. Here's the thing, stop worrying about sales, which sounds like I'm speaking on the other side of my mouth. Worry about traffic. Traffic into your salon is what's important. Now, if you have people that work for you that can sell or you are the owner operator of the salon or of the chain or whatever, and you're spending some time on shifts and you can sell or you've got people that can sell, great. But you can't get any sales without traffic. So we do something in July and August particularly that is unusual, I would never suggest any place else, and that is BOGO or 50% offers. You'll never hear me talk about suggesting that in February, March, April, May. I would never suggest that because the demand is just too naturally wonderful in those months. So why ruin it? I mean, and if you do uh, Jason's, excuse me, if you do 50% offer BOGOs too often, it becomes like the Groupon model from years ago where people were not buying EFTs because they saw too many Groupon offers, or in this case, too many BOGO offers. And they said, why would I even do that? Why do I want to uh, join an EFT, a membership, when I could just wait for the next uh, BOGO or 50% offer to come up? So, but here's the, the important thing on a BOGO. I wouldn't have it affect your EFTs at all. Now, I do have strategies for affecting EFTs in those months, but I don't want to go past my five minutes on this broadcast because I'm going to do a lot of these five minute broadcasts. <clears throat> but on your BOGO, if you do a BOGO, you're 50% off. Make sure you use an expiration. Don't let it go on for a year or even six months. Whatever you do on BOGOs, make sure that what you sell, if you sell 10 sessions and you give 10 sessions away, you'll sell a 30 day and you give a 30 day away. Make sure that everybody knows it expires by November 1st because there's too many opportunities in November and even into the first couple of weeks of December in the gift giving or the more spendy season of the year. And listen, I've been doing this for 31 years and I'm gonna tell you that that's a time to do BOGOs or 50% off sales is in uh, July and August and possibly September because I, I want you to not trust what I'm saying, which sounds kind of strange because the most expensive thing in the world is trust whether it's me or someone else giving you advice the most expensive thing is trust it can take years to earn and i've been working on my trust with tanning salon owners for many many years but it only takes seconds to lose and the reason i say don't trust me if someone's giving you advice trust what people they work with tell you and here's a list this is a list of people that i've dealt with uh, either new this year or even going back to 2019 and 2020. Actually, some of them go back years ago. Uh, Fun Tan, if you look at my uh, cursor up here, Fun Tan and Chili Peppers, I've been dealing with them, I think, for 
each five or six years. I can't remember, but it's been quite a while. Uh, sensational tanning, about the same thing. So you've got names and you've got contact information on there. Call them because, you know, if you don't know me, then call them. Here's another list for you as well, too. So this is what I do six and a half days a week. And if it's time for you to consider a makeover because you want help for the Jason months, but you also want to remember that in the Jason months, don't go too long before you start doing your strategy on peak 2022. And one of the things is staffing, which I'll cover in another five minute flash uh, video to you. So um, if you need help with your pricing on EFT strategy, marketing, your first consultation is free. And then you can see what it costs after that. It's really cheap. People get their money back right away. But again, don't trust me. Go to that list of those list of retailers. That's when you know that I know what I'm talking about. And listen, thank you for listening. And uh, look for another five-minute flash very soon because uh, I really want to help everybody, especially make some money here in Jason. So I hope you're having um, a good July so far. We'll talk to you soon.